Well, ABC Columbia is proud to be home to the Academy Awards. And our movie critic, Matt Perrin, has been counting down to Oscar with reviews of the Best Picture nominees. Today's review, the Oscar-nominated American Sniper. Well, we made it. Day eight of the Oscars overview is finally here. This last review of the Best Picture nominees is on a film based on a true story. This final nominee not only made the most money of all the Best Picture nominees, but it also set a January box office record. So without any further ado, here's my take on American Sniper, the true life story of Chris Kyle, America's deadliest sniper. Our movie begins with two brothers that just want to be cowboys. But after seeing news footage of the terrorist attacks on the American embassies of 1998, Chris, portrayed by Bradley Cooper, realized that he has to step in and use his skills and determination to help defend our country from acts of terrorism. Kyle joins the Navy SEALs and his never quit attitude allows him to complete the training as a sniper. As often happens, he meets a woman and gets married. On their wedding day, he finds out that he is being deployed to Iraq. We see Kyle on his first tour and his first test is a decision of whether or not to kill an apparent threat of a young child and mother with what appears to be a grenade. As the tour continues, his skill is honed and he completes his job to a T. We start to see some inklings of doubt entering his mind when he tells another SEAL that he doesn't regret the killing, he just didn't think that this is what protecting the country would be like. As the movie progresses, we see interspersed shots of Chris Kyle's four tours and the time he spends at home in between. While at home, we can see him becoming more distant more skittish and more aggressive towards others. In the Middle Eastern battlefield, we see him becoming more hardened as he witnesses horror after horror. His protection duty becomes even harder as there is now a Middle Eastern sniper with the same efficiency as Kyle, but who's targeting American soldiers and peacekeepers. We can see psyches being strained as Kyle and his comrades realize the true depths of evil that they sometimes have to face and the levels that they themselves have to sink to to stop said evil. All the while knowing and constantly witnessing that each breath can be your last. We also get to see that the battle doesn't end when safely back on American soil, but the enemy sometimes just has a different face. This was one of those movies that when I saw the original trailer, I wasn't actually sure that I wanted to see the film. I knew it was going to be a gritty, in-depth look into the real demons of war. But like a lot of things in life that we don't necessarily want to do, it's something that we should do. It does an amazing job of painting the different dimensions to a soldier's life. I think it's important for people to see what others go through to protect those things that oftentimes we take for granted. After reading up on the movie a little bit, I was truly impressed at the amount of dedication that Bradley Cooper put into this movie. And he was even able to talk to Chris Kyle a couple times about ways to approach certain things. This movie definitely shows that tragedy can come from the best intentions. But at the same time, in order to do good in this world, certain risks must be taken. Well, that's it. That's the last of the Best Picture nominees. I'm not even close to brave enough to even make a guess as to which one is going to win. There are reasons for every single one of the eight to win the award. But then there's factors that come in to cancel out all those reasons. So in my mind, basically, it's just a crapshoot. I guess it's up to the good folks at the Academy to make the decision. At least we'll find out on Sunday. Well, thanks for joining me in this ride. This has been your Oscars overview. Back to you. Well, we'll see who takes on that golden statue Sunday.